Yes, uh, my name is Chris from North Hollywood, and uh, I'd like to bring up something that affects everybody in this room, and that is uh, NDAA. And for those of you who don't know what it is, I challenge you to look this up when you go home. NDAA, subsection 1031, and tell me if I'm, I'm off a little bit, but I know it sounds crazy. 1021. Well, there's, okay, but I believe there is a subtext in there that says, the military can now arrest Americans on American soil and detain them indefinitely without a trial. How is this any different from Nazi Germany, Soviet Russia? How could you sign such a Ambiguous, why did you vote for it? Oh, because, the, because it had a thousand other provisions in the bill uh, that I thought were very important, including the sanctions on the Iran Central Bank. But it, uh, it dealt with uh, the part of this process. Part of this, so you sold I, our I rights away from get, that. I, we offer an amendment to get the vote on the single issue. We have a process, and I've used it to my advantage at different times. 
uh, the money for the 405 came in a much larger bill. But I don't get to decide each issue in a finite way. I have to make a general assessment. So what I did was understanding how the administration was interpreting those provisions. I voted for the bill and then co-sponsored uh, a bill, the Garamendi bill, to clarify that it should be interpreted not to allow the detention of military facilities or and what if it doesn't pass? For US what if it doesn't pass? The Garamendi bill. But he's done. We'll try again. In the meantime, yeah. we're all screwed. Well, I don't think so. You said it was contrary to the constitutional concept of the United States. No, I don't. We, we just, the act that passed does not, you know, it really it doesn't authorize detention of the U.S. It does. It doesn't. It doesn't. 1031. It's 1021 and it doesn't. It's 1031. 1031? That's right. 1031, 1032.